Hi guys, um, this is just a quick overview of the new Haze tool that's come with DaVinci Resolve 2.020, 20.2, whichever one they want to call it. Um, I've downloaded it and played with it, and I've had kind of mixed results. Um, here's one I did earlier, which is pretty cool. This one didn't come out very well. And this is a before and after. This is the before shot. And then this is the after shot. So it's very subtle here, but I think it's really cool. And um, like I say, it's, it's not one of the most outstanding, you know, 3D tracking type effects, but I think it can be used in a lot of situations. So here I created a fog going over a city or more of a smog, I should say. And you can see the power there. So here's the original version. So let's get inside and have a look and see how it works. So uh, go to your clip, right click and hit open in Fusion. Bring it over. F2, name your clip. It's always a good idea. We'll call it City. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit Shift Space Bar and we're looking for Haze. And it's this one here, Cinematic Haze. And as soon as you add it, it adds a little bit of Haze immediately to the uh, to the footage. Um, first thing I did was went to the depth map area and play with the far and near uh, settings to get a look I liked. Then I went down and changed the density to a higher density and changed the color to go down a bit darker than what it was. I didn't really get any um, anything from Halo, but what I really did like was under light rays, if we turn those on, you can see it's come up here on the right hand side. You can actually change the angle on that, so just go here and it's coming in more like that. Uh, we'll change the length a little bit, increase the softness, and take the brightness down a lot as well, somewhere like that. Now to really sell this effect, what I found was, is if you flicked on the haze and then went shift spacebar and added a CC color corrector and moved the, uh, moved the tones into the orangey browns, Something like, where are you? Something like that, just to, that there. Then it gave it a really cool look. So like I say, this is just a quick overview of the, the haze mode. It's really cool. It's really self-explanatory and simple. And I can see it being used in a lot of different productions for everything from creating ground fog to pollution to horror movies. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, go down and hit that subscribe button. And give me a like, it does help me a lot. And if you've got any questions or you want me to do any tutorials, uh, leave me a comment below. I do read them, I love them, and I'll see what I can do. See you next time.